Hey Ayush, hey Poonima, where are you? Yes mom, I am here and I am ready for the party. Hey mama, I am also ready for the party. Tell me, how am I looking? Oh children, you both are looking very good. But we can't go for a party now. But why mom? We both are very much excited for the party. Because it's raining outside children. But when I came back from school, the sun was shining very brightly. How did the weather change so suddenly? Hey bro, tomorrow we will ask our EVS teacher Sonali ma'am about it. Oh yes, she will definitely tell us that how does weather change from day to day and hour to hour. Good, good morning, morning teacher. teacher. Welcome, Welcome to, to class, class 4. four. Very good morning children. Ma'am, Ayush wants to ask something to you. Ma'am, I want to know how does weather change. Yes children. Come, I'll show you. The sun causes changes in the weather conditions. The blowing of wind or the formation of clouds is due to the heat of the sun. When the wind blows gently, it is called breeze. During the day, air above the hot soil becomes hot, but the air above the water remains cool. As the hot air rises up, cool air from the sea takes its place. Thus, a cool breeze blows towards the land during the day. This is called sea breeze. As the sun sets, land cools faster than the sea. The rapidly cooling land has higher air pressure over it than the sea. So, the air begins to blow from a high pressure area to a low pressure area. That is, from the level of the sea. This is called land breeze. It blows at night. The movements caused by hot and cold winds are known as convection currents. So children, now you understand how weather changes and what is land breeze and sea breeze. Yes ma'am, now we understood. Okay children, so tomorrow we will learn about water. Good morning, morning teacher. teacher. Welcome, Welcome to, to class, class 4. four. Very good morning children. Today we will study about water. Water exists in three states. Solid, liquid and gas. Ma'am, are these states interchangeable? Yes children. These states can interchange themselves. Come. I will show you how this happens. The process by which water changes into water vapor is called evaporation. Children, the change of water vapor to water on cooling is called condensation. Evaporation and condensation of water vapor also cause... Snow, frost, hail, fog and dew. Now children, let me tell you what is water cycle. When the sun shines, water from ponds, rivers, lakes, seas changes into water vapor and evaporates. In the sky, it condenses to form small drops of water. These small drops join together to form clouds. When these clouds pass through cooler air, they get cooled further. The water drops become heavier. When the water drops become very heavy, they fall to the earth as rain. The cycle of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation goes on continuously and 
is called the water cycle. Hey Purnima, I understood what ma'am taught us. Did you understand? Yes, Ayush. I also understood that how water changes its state in the environment. Thank, Thank you, Sunarina, for, for teaching us so well. well.